Hey guys, it's me, King Boxing Nerd, with another video. Yes. Well, it happened. It happened. Uh, Jay Paul lost. Believe it or not. Um, going into this fight, I was looking at uh, Tommy Fury, and I was like, "Oh shit." <laughs> He is going against a real boxer and uh, wouldn't be surprised if uh, Jake Paul finds himself behind on the scorecards late in the fight and tries to rally late with a big punch. And uh, that's exactly what happened. Um, Jake Paul came out. He wasn't throwing his jab a lot to set up the big right hand. He was headhunting. He was headhunting a lot and missing a lot. And uh, as you know, when you miss in boxing, it it takes a toll on you, on your conditioning. Um, so he was missing a lot. He was headhunting, and uh, yeah, what he what did he do wrong? Uh, he could have thrown more jabs. He could have got more to the body because when you go to when you go to the body. Um, it's easier to find your target. You, you miss. There's less chances of missing. And when you hit, and when you hit something, it doesn't take a toll. Out. It doesn't take that much out of you that when you miss a punch. He looked winded. He looked gassed out uh, early in the fight, Jake Paul. So he has to do a better job with a strength and conditioning coach for the rematch. Because apparently there's going to be a rematch. And there should be a rematch. I mean, it was it was a great fight. It was a very even fight. Could have gone either way. Um, not surprised that they gave it to Tommy Fury. I saw it a draw. And, um, but yeah. Yeah, I mean, that's that's what uh, Jake has to do in the next fight. Just, uh, if he doesn't want to get rid of his coach is bringing another coach a second opinion a strength a strength and conditioning coach uh memo heredia he's really good colombian he's really good he's worked with top level boxers and uh, i'm sure he can do wonders i mean it's not just the bulk bulking up in the fight muscles it's it's the conditioning in boxing uh, that goes a long way. So if Jake uh, works on conditioning and throws more body shots and and remembers to throw a jab first in order to set up his big right hand or over right hand, um, kind of like Triple G does, then you know he will definitely win the second fight. I'm sure he will. He'll get. I'm sure he'll win. He'll win the second fight. He will uh, prepare better, and it'll set up a third rubber match, a, a, a trilogy. Um, but yeah, he'll be back. He'll bounce back. Good fight. And uh, Badu Jack, Badu Jack defeated Makabu. Congratulations, new champion. You know what? When I saw Ilunga Makabu, he look. He didn't look right something was off and even his body language in the ring his foot movement his coordination was off uh, it seemed like his upper body was going one way and his foot movement was going somewhere else he didn't look, he didn't look right guys and I don't know if he uh, he didn't sleep good <laughs> or he got knocked out in sparring you know and that's a possibility I'm not taking anything away from Badu Jack. He did what he had to do. He's a seasoned veteran of the sport. Saw an opportunity and started up, um, setting up traps as Makabu was coming in with no regard for um, Badu Jack's power. He was just coming in because Makabu is, is, is one fighter attacking but a different fighter defending. And he can punch hard. He can get the job done with one punch. And that's what he was betting on. But his he had no defense. It was awful. He was getting hit with everything. And um, 
And this and Baru Jack is is a, is a seasoned vet. He saw an opportunity and capitalized. But um, yeah, and that that brings another topic: uh, sparring. If I managed a boxer, um, I would tell him and his sparring partners to go easy. You know, it's just about working on fun fundamentals, but not hurting you know each other because especially the guy that's going to be in, in, a, in a prize fight soon because that's the worst thing you want getting knocked out in sparring and then and then you know you have to uh, have a, 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 a prize fight soon and, and how do we know that you didn't have a concussion in sparring <laughs> you know what I mean and these things have happened in boxing and uh They fly under the radar, guys. They, they do. So, they, they shouldn't for the good of the boxer's health. But I'm not saying this was the case in this fight. I just think something was off with Makabu. <laughs> He didn't look right. But it doesn't matter. Uh, it's what's done is done. Body Jack won. And Tommy Fury won. Congratulations to both guys. And, um, yeah, I mean, it, w it would be nice to see a, a rematch Even in both fights, I strongly believe Macabo can prepare better, just like Jake Paul, and be better in the rematch. I, like I said, something was off with him. I'm sure he can look better in the rematch. And uh, and I think, my opinion, personal opinion, I think the referee stopped the fight too soon. I, when you are a champion, if you're a challenger, yes, stop the fight, he's taking a beating. But when you're a champion, you have a belt, you have that peace. Don't stop the fight. Let it go. Give the champion uh, some time to recover or hug the opponent or do something. I feel like as soon as the um, Baru Jack threw a combination, they stopped the fight. I feel like they should have given Makabu a little more time to recover, being that he's the champion. And... Um, That's how, it, that's how it was done back in the days. I'm not sure why. Or it, I guess it just depends on the referee um, that stopped this fight too soon. Also, the, the Jake Paul, uh, Tommy Fury, the, the referee wasn't doing that good of a job either, separating, separating the fighters. So the referees, they had an off night. Makabu, I feel, had an off night. And uh, Jake Paul had an off night could have prepared better that's my opinion let me know what you guys think just keep boxing nerd please like subscribe comment down below and let me know and it's an exciting year for boxing good things are coming our way guys ryan garcia tank davis tank davis ryan garcia uh, i like both guys but man i i gotta go with tank on this one by knockout uh late, late in the fight I just think he hits too hard. And yes, Ryan's fast, but Tank just hits too hard, guys. And uh, I'm, I'm, I think he's going to win. But, hey, anything can happen in boxing. And the zone has, has raised their prices on subscription um, by a little bit, five bucks more. But you know what? It's worth it, guys, because there's going to be a lot of good fights coming our way, good content. They've been putting out a really good content documentaries you know it's worth it really if you think about it uh what we used to pay back with uh when hbo was around uh even with showtime you know 50 pay-per-views when they were 50 bucks uh 75 up to 100 so you know 20 25 a month that that's not that bad and there's always there's always good fun content on the weekends you can enjoy fights even during the weekdays so um yeah all right catch you guys later <laughs> take care bye